بجز ندامت کے پاس کیا ہے رہی سلامت تمہاری نسبت میرا تو ایک آس راہ یہی ہے ریسپیکٹڈ ڈیریکٹر سکیمس پروفیسر اہنگر دین سکیمس پروفیسر کرمانی پرنسپل سکیمس میڈیکل کالیج پروفیسر امتو ڈسٹیمیشن فیکلٹی لیڈیز اینڈ گنٹلمن السلام علیکم The accelerating pace of change in medicine stems from an explosion of scientific information and the need to blend this information into the art and practice of medicine. No greater opportunity, responsibility or obligation can fall to the lot of human being than to become a doctor. In the care of the suffering, the doctor needs technical skills, scientific knowledge and human understanding. Tact, sympathy and understanding are expected of the doctor. For the patient is no mere collection of symptoms, sinus, disordered functions, damaged organs and disturbed emotions. The patient is human, fearful and hopeful, seeking relief, help, and reassurance. This combination of medical knowledge, intuition, experience and judgment defines the art of medicine, which is as necessary to the practice of medicine as is a sound scientific base. In this era of techno-medicine, doctors need to approach patients not as cases or diseases, but as individuals whose problems all too often transcend their physical complaints. Most patients are anxious and fearful. Doctors should instill confidence and should be reassuring but never be arrogant. A professional attitude coupled with warmth and openness can do much to alleviate anxiety and to encourage patients to share all aspects of their medical history. The ideal patient physician relationship the ideal patient physician relationship is based on thorough knowledge of the patient, on mutual trust, and on the ability to communicate. Implementation of infection control systems, enforcement of hand washing protocols, and careful oversight of antibiotic use can minimize complications of nosocomial infections. No problem is more distressing than that presented by the patient with an incurable disease particularly when premature death is inevitable. What should, be, what should the patient and the family be told? What measures should be taken to maintain life? What can be done to maintain the quality of life? How is death to be defined? How much is told should depend on the individual's ability to deal with the possibility of imminent death. Often this capacity grows with time and, whenever possible, gradual rather than Abrupt disclosure is the best strategy. The practice of medicine is dependent on the sum total of the medical knowledge, which in turn is based on an unending chain of scientific discovery, clinical observations, analysis, and interpretation. There is a strong need to link research to practice. Evidence-based medicine is the integration of best research evidence with clinical expertise and patient values. Public expectations of medicine are very high. Good medical education demands a useful match with the healthcare system. The doctor of the new millennium should be able to be a caregiver, communicator, decision maker, community leader, and a manager. Residency is a successful endeavor and has been reported to be a cause of burnout, anxiety, uh, depression, and other psychosocial problems as a result of increased expectations and responsibilities because residents are expected to be proficient clinicians, educators, researchers, and administrators at the end of the training. Although some level of the stress is not harmful and little bit of the stress is necessary for motivation, high perceived levels of stress is dangerous. In modern society, 
constantly engaged in technological improvement, information superhighway, consumerism and commercialization. Medical profession is becoming a prisoner of market structure. Solution lies in the faith and mutual trust. There is need to reduce market element by adopting a holistic approach to restoring social, cultural and ethical elements in healthcare. It is actually a wonderful time. You are finally encountering patients, you mean residents. There are new situations and other environments and you are trying to learn the system. It is exciting and rewarding too. It's also frightening. But when you meet people and get to help them, it gives you a wonderful feeling of fulfillment. It is a scary thing. You don't want to do anything wrong. The Hippocrates oath says, do no harm. The best moments in the life of a doctor are cry of a newborn, the sound of restarting heartbeat when resuscitating a patient, waking up, waking up of a comatose patient, the genuine thanks, uh, the genuine thank you of a patient relieved of pain, stress, and illness. When you are sick, you need doctors and nurses. You need their attention, their patience, their humanity. Yet, one large study of nearly 7,000 doctors found that more than half of them reported at least one symptom of burnout. This same study showed declining satisfaction with work-life balance. The nearer doctors are to the point of care of the patients, the worse burnout gets. Confidence in one's own worth or abilities, self-respect, self-esteem, define morale. Today, morale is low. The core cause of morale problem in, is the commodification of the healthcare. In November 2016 issue of the Lancet, there is a beautiful analysis of the present day health system. I quote, doctors are disillusioned by the absence of the affirmation for the values and relationships that sustain their sense of purpose, need enlightened leaders who recognize that medicine is a human endeavor and not an assembly line. Public sector hospitals are for the people, of the people, and by the people, and so are we. We should work as a team, as no hospital could function properly without the support of one and all associated with it. In many ways, the, first, the most innovative idea is the notion of preparing our residents and postgraduates in a principal clinical experience where they are, where they can be mentored, shepherded, and assisted along the pathway of professional and scientific learning in a clinical setting in which they can feel a closer attachment to the faculty and a closer loyalty to the institution in which they are working. Residency is an intense experience that comes at a time in life when most new doctors are relatively young and still evolving their adult characters. Resident doctors are the direct interface of a teaching hospital with the patients and their inputs can critically determine the outcome of care. Dear York Fellows, this is the time of hope. A culture of development has to be created out, out of the diversity of human experience. एक चिंगारी तूफान में राह दिखाती है, एक चिंगारी सागर में उबाल लाती है, एक चिंगारी अंधेरों को जीना सिखाती है। Global excellence in education calls for innovative curriculum to helping our postgraduates develop a global competitive edge. In research, global excellence involves recruiting academic and professional talent, encouraging and supporting the creation and dissemination of knowledge with global influence as well as fostering a vibrant research culture. Thomas Edison, the General Electric Company, he was the founder, also known as GE. I'll quote him, he had more than a thousand patents to his name, apparently more than anyone else. Isn't it ironic 
that someone who was deaf invented the phonograph, the first machine that could record and reproduce sound. Let me quote Edison's famous saying, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Perspiration is commonly associated with working hard. What drives people to work hard? Is it the carrot, the city, or both? How long can hard work be sustained by carrots and cities? An easy answer is for as long as they last. Yet we note that many people, including Edison, work painstakingly well beyond the kind of motivation that was attributed to carrots and cities. In our journey to learn, discover and serve, it is important to perceive it because inevitably we encounter failure. In this journey, failure is not fatal. Surrender, surrendering to the failure is. The medical profession needs to evolve, as it always has, to ensure that the practice of medicine remains of relevance to the society itself. However, despite these changes, core values such as caring and compassion remain central to the practice of the medicine and are the profession's greatest assets. We make a living but by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Work is love made visible. I remember when medicos in Bosnia could perform surgical interventions under the candlelight. We with better resources, difficult circumstances notwithstanding, can work wonders. Life is a race against time. It must make a contribution. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. We will be judged the way we judge. The secret of life is to have a mission, something you devote your entire life to, every minute of the day, for your whole life. Once a man was planting a tree, an old man, and somebody asked him, for whom he was doing so, when he cannot himself enjoy the benefit. He replied, I have been enjoying the shade of a tree which someone else had planted, and the future generation will enjoy the shade of the tree I am planting. 